ADHD part two. Part two. Let's go. Yo. Hello, I'm Ash. And I'm Lynn. And this is Only, Only If You, you Can, Can Keep, Keep Up. So, I like to ramble. I don't like to. I just don't have a fucking choice. I ramble. Every story I tell, I talk a lot. I talk fast. I talk too much. I overshare. I add do unneeded go, details. Do you go on side quests? Yes. Like in the middle of your story, you'll, you'll like yes. have a thought and then you'll go completely north. Yes. Or I think it's north. I don't remember directions. Zigzag, circle, spiral, all around. And you're like, oh my god, I was talking about something else and you have to come like, back. wait, where was I at? Yeah. After talking 45 minutes about yeah. something completely different that was your main topic. Yeah. Yeah. Always getting off course. <clears throat> yep. Because, you know, you mentioned one thing and then it turns into another. And right. And it's hard to stay on course. 100%. Yeah. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. You, like, when you and me, like, sit down, like, on your porch or my porch and we have conversations... And, like, okay, like, my oldest daughter, she's been around us before when we're having conversation. And, like, after you leave, she's like, I don't understand how you two understand each other. Like, you guys jump from north to south to all these different... Well, and we talk over each other and interrupt each other, but we're okay with it. But the thing is, is we always go back and answer our questions and our... like Right. We can keep up with each other. We can have four actual conversations going... Within and this one. is speaking person to person. This is not through texting or right. anything. Four conversations going <laughs> at the same time and answer each individual yeah. one at the appropriate time. It is insane. Yeah. And, like, from an outsider watching us, like, my oldest, she just, like, mouth down, like. Yeah. People who are, like, at a normal pace you... or, like, talk normal. Like, my husband's very, like, laid back, chill. Your husband, too. They're yeah. just kind of, like, they say what they need to say. Yeah, and exactly. And they're they'll done. tell a story, and I'm like, I love you. I love to hear your stories. They're very interesting. But can you just speed it up about ten times? <laughs> I know. Like, I he just need, my brain fast. goes fast, and I need the words yes. to go fast. Yes. And he's like, so, listen to this. And I'm like, fucking spit it out already. I need to know. <laughs> I listen to, like, my podcast. Like, when I listen to a podcast or anything like that, I put it on two times speed. Oh, Almost that's a everything. good idea. Everything. I need everything to be faster. The only thing I don't is, like, music. Because I yeah. can get into oh, yeah. the music. But, like, a conversation. Music does something different. It zones us out. It puts us yeah. on a different frequency. I yeah. think it's just, yeah. I wish I could be that way all the time. But I can't I can't keep up with slow conversations. I can't mm-hmm. keep up with things that are boring. Like, even it's, a TikTok sometimes is too long, and I'll fast forward to oh, the end. Yeah, like, show me the fucking end already. I'm I not know. patient enough for this. Right. Patience. I don't have them. I d- no, I don't think I've had one of them since birth. Yeah. I don't have them. Yep. Everything's like very important in the moment has to be done. Wait a second. You have a lot more patience than you think. You are so patient with your kids well, and your animals and your husband. Like you were the. Did you like, see me in I full care. meltdown no, no, no. when the cat pissed on my bag of donations Listen, earlier? I thrive <laughs> to have your patience sometimes. <laughs> well, thank you. Seriously. I've never talked to my husband, my kids. You would no, not get that. You have that restraint. I them. have to like. I have okay, to breathe. Fine. I have to like step back and deep breath, count to ten sometimes. But but you have very. You, I think you have more patience. I have you restraint. I guess credit. I have restraint, okay. but I don't have patience inside. I'm like, <gasps> you know, but, Dying, but but I am able to like control it. On I haven't mm-hmm. always been able to. When yeah. I was younger, I really when I was younger, I really struggled with right. with yeah. But yeah, I mean, we go off topic, but we make our way back and we really do. But I always, yeah, I add unnecessary details. Like, the, you see those memes, like, on Facebook where it's, like, if you're neurodivergent, you know what this means. Like, telling a story and then everything's in parentheses or you got to dot, dot, dot. But yeah, everything's exactly. got to be yeah. added to. I can't make something short and sweet. I don't know how. Can you, like, okay, mm-hmm. say your husband comes home and he's actually telling you the story even though you want it to go faster. Can you concentrate on what he's saying? <sighs> if I'm busy and focused on something, No. I will actually, I have to completely stop what I'm doing, take a deep breath, and, like, lock my eyes on him to really, and he gets irritated sometimes, like, do you even hear what I'm saying? I'm like, give me a second. I have to, like, shift away from what See, I was doing first. I can't first. even do that. It's because, hard. like, I wasn't there. I understand you're telling me a story, and I want to hear about your day, don't get me wrong, but I can't picture it, and I end up, like, Nah, dissociating yeah. into the left field about what I've got. Does he do. get irritated when you do that? Like, or does mm-hmm. he even notice you're doing it? I'm sure he notices it. I yeah. that I'm doing it, but like later mine de- on, he'll mine be like, definitely you know notices. What I was telling you earlier. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I was in another realm at that time. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, did you and, say but that? Then, 
But then sometimes I can sit and listen a yeah. lot and ask questions. I think, again, it, it depends on our stimuli or what we're focused on in the moment. If I'm yeah. pulled out of a hyper focus, you better bet it's going to take me a second to come around yeah. and really listen. Yeah. And it's nothing personal. I want to hear everything he has to say. Exactly. I just, exactly. I want to hear about your day. I want to yeah. hear about the thing that happened I want to him you, to talk or, to me and open up. But sometimes exactly. I can't get my brain to just, like, shift courses. And it's hard. It really is. And that, and I can't, I am not quiet ever. Like, he said I was talking to my sleep the other morning when, he, when I lit... He said, I was leaving for work and you're saying some funny shit. I'm like, what I say? He doesn't remember, but I guess I was talking. I don't even shut up when I'm sleeping. Like, I'm always humming or singing or <laughs> drumming. I love to drum and tap on things, like clicking pins or, like, making noises with my mouth. Like, I can't even, like, cook a meal without making noises. It's, like, always got to be home. And maybe it's, like, that oral fixation. Like I was going to say, that's a... Smoking that, cigarettes, what is chewing gum. What's it called? It's got a word. Keep talking. I'll get to it. Hold on. Well, I know you get the oral fixation. Like all yeah, the I know sunflower it, seeds and... Sensory. Yeah, maybe it is a sensory thing. Yeah, yeah, a sensory thing. Yeah. I've always... I remember when I was little, I'd chew on my pens. I'd always be like... Because I couldn't talk in class. I I did a lot. I got in trouble for that a lot. Yeah, I couldn't sit, could never sit still. She will not stay in her seat. She talks too much in class. Had, every had fidgets single back then. Part. Oh, my gosh. I yeah. think every single child needs one of those um, fidget spinners, like, yeah. attached up under their desk with, like, a bolt so they can just sit there and yeah. spin it. And it I would, don't like those because they make me dizzy, but I love the, well, like... Well, if it's, like, under your desk, you won't see it. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Just, just something, something to mess to, with the whole time. Because I would sit there it. like this, click my pen over and over. Yeah. That way, or I'd chew I'm over on it. Here. Right now, I'm popping the lid off the highlighter. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do it so quietly so yeah. that you guys can't And if it. I have nothing in my hand, I'll, like, flick under my fingernails over, or I'll, like, rub my fingers, or, you know, some kind of... I'm always moving. Yeah. And I... I notice standing in line or in public places, I'm the one swaying. I'm the one tapping my foot. Tapping. I'm the, always moving. Yeah. I can't yeah. stand still. I'm even like that, like, if I go to a movie theater. Yes. Because you're supposed to be quiet. You're. Sp- I think it's also because, like, I'm supposed to do all these things and I don't want right? to do what like, I'm supposed rebel. to do. But I will wiggle. I will, I'm like yeah. a worm. Like, I have to have one foot down, one foot up. Nobody Just, tells me to sit still. I do what I want. Well... Not that I'm I not want loud, to. Though. It's just, just yeah. like I cannot. I can't. I can't yep. sit still. Especially if we've got stuff on our mind. Like exactly. Yeah. It's real, and I can't sit like a normal person. Like he'll Criss-cross say, "Crisscross applesauce yeah. is my favorite." I actually just bought a crisscross <laughs> applesauce computer chair. Highly recommend to. I have to try it out next time I'm over there. You have no I idea have how comfortable one. this thing is. Because if I'm sit. sitting at my desk for a long time, I get like, well, just this, just sitting at this table for thirty minutes. Yeah. I can't. Sorry. She's. Moving. I'm gonna crisscross myself. Maybe that will help. It but won't. My husband will be like, why crisp. can't you just sit with your legs like down on the floor like a normal person? I'm like, because that's not how I operate. Yeah, my husband says that too. And I'm like, why don't you sit with your legs like, like me then? I'm because not, it's not a the normal same. person. Yeah. You know that by now. Yeah. Like, I don't sit still ever. Yeah. I'm like, I probably need my, what do you call it? Where is your emotional, emotional support? Emotional support scrunchie. She has emotional support I don't support have it right now. So that she doesn't make all the noise on the podcast that I have to try to edit out. Because how many times I've already bumped the table and yeah. clicked my pen? So okay, here's. So we a... apologize for all of that if you hear it, because <laughs> I can't get it all. I try so hard to edit that out, and I just can't. I'm a lot. I can't help it. Ugh. Oh. So yeah, we're... that's the whole point of this episode. I know <laughs> we're all a lot at this point. Speaking of a lot, there's a door shutting. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much noise out there. But speaking of a lot, do you? Okay. You're a lot more organized than I am. I am actually a very, very, excuse me, blah, 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 words, very organized ADHD human being. Yeah. I don't know how. You know. There's my highlighter again. I'm so sorry. But you're using it. That's different, right? <laughs> what? You opened it to use it. That's why you made the noise. You weren't just playing with it. But I'm about to play with it after <laughs> I use it. So is that Dual count? purpose. <laughs> anyway, um, what were you saying? You're very organized. I, I can be. My thing, okay, so I, it's you organized can be, chaos. But then you then you jump into chaos. Where'd that highlighter come from? Yeah, I knew exactly where it the was. In one of bed. my fuck it buckets. That's where it was. Oh, the fuck it buckets. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any fuck it buckets or like <gasps> doom boxes or like bowls full of jelly? Not jelly, random shit. <laughs> <laughs> bowls full of jelly. I do. I have one, two, three, three drawers. Oh, that's cute. You like, can count them. Like, it, like I throw everything in. Like, don't yeah. know where it goes, throw there. I have two baskets on my... I have two desks in my house. One's, like, an office desk and one's, like, my business desk. Th- two or three buckets on top of there for 
all the things. And then each of my kids has a bucket bucket where it's like just their random shit right. that comes into the Take living this room. Take to your room. And yeah. you throw it all in there. When it gets full, go put yeah. it up. So, yeah, I have Do you several. actually, like, go through your bucket buckets and put things away? I do. I try to. I try to have um, a cleaning schedule. Like, <laughs> that's not, it's adorable. Not like a no, it's okay. Sorry. So, like, obviously, I, wish. I vacuum every day. I don't dust every day, but I vacuum every day. My goal is like once a week, I choose a room and I deep clean that room for that week. So like yeah. this week would be living room. I dust, I lift up all the trinkets, I move the couch. This is what I used to do before I moved and I have not done it yet. So I'm acting like I do this right now, but I have not done it yet. But we also just moved. So it's yeah, not so super fine in your routine. I, there's yeah. not that much dust yet. But you so. always seem to have a good handle on things. Like I try. Yeah. I mean, like, your laundry situation is always... I mean, we have the same amount of people in our family. You mm-hmm. have more animals. Yeah, I suck at laundry. Like, I'm good at it, but that's the problem. I put too much focus on things that have to be washed special, things that need to be separated. I can get you on a good laundry schedule. The problem is you have to follow it. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because I can write you a schedule and you'll be caught up by It's like Friday. today, my baskets were all almost empty. And then all of a sudden, the teenager brings her basket full in. And then the cat pisses on shit stuff. And I had to rewash another load. And then, you know, the towels to clean things. And now I've got two more loads to do. And it's like, when do I catch up? I, f- I do a load or two every day. But... I just need to come over here and do all your laundry one day. And well, put it up for you and fold it for you. Well, I get there. I get to that point. But then it, I then just can't I'll keep up again. I'll put you on a schedule. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then don't go yeah. about it. No, try me. I would love to try. Okay. Maybe someone else telling me what to do and then checking in. You You're know, gonna do this. Now. That accountability. Maybe that's what I need. Like, that was really loud. I like, mommy, come tell me what to do. I'm not your mom. <laughs> My mom's tried before. She's like the laundry queen. She's always caught up in laundry. Her laundry's always perfect, so clean, smells good. She taught me right, but my brain says, "Fuck you." I have a question. Do you use fabric softener? No, I I don't use anything because of eczema and dermatitis. Stuff. Do you use vinegar? Every now and then I will. I I'll throw some in every now. Single load every of load? Every does it tear your washer up? Absolutely. It cleans your washer. I always thought it was hard on the washers. Nope. I do it every now and then, but. Every load. I really. only do like a teaspoon, though, in every load. I can always get stains out. I can always make the. But it I makes, just. It makes the laundry detergent fresher. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I actually had a rinocinter man. And it me. doesn't smell like straight vinegar when you. I do not smell. When I pour it in, obviously yeah. you smell. But no. Nope, Every no, time no. I've used it, I still smell it when it comes out. No. See, my husband says that, but no, it doesn't. I'm sorry, it doesn't. I don't. See, I'm not a bleach person because it bothers no. me. And I'm allergic to bleach. Do really? You know that? I know it can like burn nostrils and stuff it, really um, easy. Whenever I use bleach, like if I use bleach to clean, and it could be like. What's that one stuff? Is it like 409 with bleach or something yeah. like that? Like anything which with bleach. It does something to the inside of my mouth and my nose. Mm. And all I can taste or smell for about a week after is bleach and my throat's wow. real tingly. That's crazy. Like it strips something and Literally, makes it all so yes. sensitive. And it's about a week. Anything. It does not matter what I eat, drink, anything. It tastes like bleach. Uh, I know I used to work with bleach a lot. And I'd have to like, I'd have to open windows and doors. And I'd uh, close, put a mask on and gloves. And then when I'd leave the office I was work I'd like have to change my clothes and everything but it doesn't do that to me but it burns my nose and stuff so I can't oh that's crazy but yeah we have to use scent free detergents nothing can be like we can't use fabric softeners or dryer sheets or anything because me I have skin issues and my youngest he has eczema so we have to be careful and allergies so but yeah try me on a laundry schedule maybe I can keep up with yours maybe that would help I'll get all caught up, and I'm like, oh, look at that. All the baskets are empty, and then, boom, it explodes again. I just don't have any. But, yeah, my fuck it buckets, my doom boxes, my baskets of random shit, they are all, like, that's how I'll clean a counter. Like, dump it all in a basket, put things where they need to go. Sometimes, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just shove it off to the side. And we've lost her. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. I'm... uh I am, I'm here. I left for a minute. Um, <laughs> this is bad. I'm like ADHD and hard and <laughs> too. Like, this is probably actually a good time to do this episode, I guess. Oh, I'm going to throw you in my fuck it bucket. Yeah, I just hit the table again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good time because it's like, it's later in the night. Like, my meds have worn off and I don't take we've got meds. everything of like... <laughs> What are we talking about? Anyway, okay, let's continue. But yeah, you're really organized, I feel like. I can be. I can organize small areas at a time. They just don't stay that way. I'm a piler, not a filer. That's what my mama says. 
Like, I so know what? where I'm shit is. I'm a filer, is. not a biler. I mean, people who are organized usually file things and, like, have specific designated areas for things. 100%. I have piles and buckets and baskets and but, bins. Girl, listen, I have seen you be like, can I borrow a piece of pink paper with flowers on it? And you'll be like, 30 seconds. I know exactly where You go that. to the drawer, the cabinet, the yeah. bucket, well, like bucket, that highlighter. You're yeah, like, exactly. I'm like, yeah, it's in that bin over there with all that random sh- Yep, I know exactly she where it was. But it looks like a mess. I stack things, I pile things, like I put things said, in baskets. I don't know if you said it. You might have said it earlier. You thrive in chaos. Yeah, I do. I like, if my work desk gets too clean, I feel weird. I feel out of place. Like, I need enough room to work, and I See, need to be able to find... I don't I like want, trash. I hate trash. I want my work area to be pristine. By the end of it, though, like, say I'm working on my business, and I'm making the things I make, and by the end of it, it looks like a tornado hit it. Yeah. But I have to clean that up. I always clean the trash up. It. Like, I never leave trash. I hate trash. Or No, I'm talking about the scissors and the blah, 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 and all this yeah. stuff just sitting around, and the boxes and the bags and the... I put I away, like... Like, my tape and my scissors go right back. My pins go right back. But, like, the other things, like supplies I've used or things, they're, like, laying every. But I'll clear enough space to work again because I might need that in a minute. I might need that in an hour. So, right. like, I want it easy to grab, but I know where it's at. And I remember because I can see it. Once something's out of sight, I forget about it. And then I'll go buy another one. So, organization for me is open, clear. It has to be in sight. Like, clear bins, open baskets, hooks. I have to have like complete open storage because once it's in a basket or it's closed away, I'm, I'm done. I just, I forget where it's at. That's why like I'm constantly buying batteries and things like that because they're in drawers and I forget. See, I just I'm need everything out. Kind of I know the batteries go here. This goes there. I have like, them all in the same drawer, but like I forget like. No, I understand. If it's not right so out on the. you buy 10 more packs of yeah. batteries. And I get it. Yeah, I totally do. I don't know. And I don't think that's something I can ever grasp, being organized and having systems, because nice. I, that's not how it, I work. It's hard to get it, like, I guess the schedule going, the organization yeah. schedule where you put everything where it goes and keep it there until it's needed again. Then the minute it's done, you put it up. It's hard to get it going, but once you do that routine yeah. and that See, that's the thing. I can't form so new good. routines very well. It like, takes a while. I think it takes people with ADHD longer to form yeah. the routine in their head. And it takes so much extra yes. and effort. It's not, we know we need that routine. Yeah. But I can't. Easy. It's like it's too much to start. Okay, for example, like say before when you take the kids to school in the mornings. Okay. If. I don't have a routine for that. It's chaos. Yeah. And we are running out of the door screaming. If I set this routine, like in the morning, we get up immediately, we have the breakfast, we do this, we do this, clothes, dress, teeth, out. It's better. Yeah. I know I need that routine, but for me to start that routine is hard as hell. Yeah. And we do have a morning routine. That was just the example yeah. that came to my head. It's the starting of I the I do routine. good with like the school year with the kids because it's for someone else. And I know that they have to be somewhere at a certain time. I do okay when someone else tells me where I have to be. Like, I know the school needs them there by that time. Mm-hmm. So I can keep that routine because I know it has to be done. But if it's up to me and it's something for me, I can't keep it. Like, I can't, I can't, I will make it a couple days usually. See, Like, I you'll am. come through, get me all organized. She yeah. literally comes in, she'll come to my work desk or she'll come and help me with the <laughs> toys and sit down and go through stuff and get me all in line. And I I'll should, last a few days. I should become a professional organizer. You really should. That's really rare for people with ADHD to be able to, like, organize like that. So that's, like, a skill I would love to have. I'm special. But I, <laughs> I just can't. I, I have tried and tried. I know where things are. I don't like trash. I don't like dirty dishes. I wipe things down. I keep things swept. But I am a stacker, a piler, a basket person. Everything okay, so is just... so, like, for me... Okay, like, our kids are getting ready to go back to school. Obviously, school season... Mm-hmm. Up, it's, or summer season is over. School yeah. season is upon us. So, like, when my kids go back to school, like we've said several times, we have small businesses. Yeah. I should have a routine for myself, for my small business, so that I'm not struggling once the kids are home. It's like, oh, my God, I have to get this order packed. Or, oh, my God, I yeah. have to do this, do this, do this. When I just had eight hours of my kids in school and I should have like set this routine, like the fact that I can't, you know, have my morning coffee, sit down and do my emails, then do this, now have lunch. I can't do that for myself. It's like, what am I going to do today? What am I going to do today? What am I going to do today? Am I going to do this? No, I don't want to do this. Am I going to do this? It's hard. It's very, very, very hard. Yeah. Well, it's like once the things you know that have to be done by a certain time are done, if you have any, my thing is open timeframes. I suck with open timeframes. I have, I do well with due dates. 
with ex- expectations at certain times. Mm-hmm. Like if I know it has to be done, that's when I do the best. Under pressure, when someone's expecting me to be somewhere at a certain time, that's when I do the so, best. You know what we should do? We should just like set the due dates and times for ourselves. Like hold each other accountable. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like be each other's ADHD support person. Oh, this is gonna go so Good. bad. <laughs> Send each other pictures. Like I really needed to organize my desk today. But like, instead, I put 700 stickers on my notebook. <laughs> Isn't it cute? That's exactly. How many cool. times have we actually table done again. that? Good Lord. Uh, I can't even count, dude. Like, <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, but I feel like I'm like, I know where things are. I can pick up my house and have it company ready pretty fast. Like, it's always cluttery, but it's organized clutter. Like, it's, like, I can still, my couch can be cleared off. My table can be cleared off. Like, I can do it all pretty fast. But I like, I like a little chaos. Like, I... I like to have my stuff out to look at and go through and like, you know, say I got like today I got an Amazon orders. You saw my boxes stacked up on the yeah. table. I'm not going to put them away because then I'll forget. I need to go through them. So they're going to sit there until I go through them because. And then another thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously. What I, is going on? Kidding. These humans in this house are all standing <laughs> at every, like, okay, there's one in a bedroom, one at the living room, one at the kitchen. Just like one, two, three, slam, slam, We also slam, have slam, extra slam. people here tonight. My friend, oh my, my friend, gosh. my friend has a friend. I have a friend here. My daughter has a friend here. We have extra animals in the house tonight. It is chaos out there. So we're doing the best we can with the environment we are I, given. So if you heard loud bangs, I promise it's just door slamming. No one is being hurt. <laughs> that we know of. Oh, we're gosh. in this locked room, but still. <laughs> oh. What was I saying? This is bad for our ADHD. Holding each other accountable, right? Okay, there was something after that, though. Mm. Oh, okay. Is this something you do? So, okay. I just... <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is quite entertaining. <laughs> this is a lot. I apologize. <laughs> okay, hold on. What was that? Sweet, I can't get back into it because I got interrupted by the Big Bang. The Big Bang. Big Bang Theory is a good show. See? Like that. <laughs> like stuff like that. Like, mm, Side okay. quest. Anyway. Okay, so I got a new desktop computer. Yes. I had to wait for the perfect moment to open that and put it up. Yes. I do that too. I couldn't do it the I will second save I it all. Exactly. Yeah. I will put it off until it's almost like I want to give it that. I feel like I've talked about this before. I want to give it the right energy. I want to be able to enjoy it. about it to me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I told like, somebody. Yeah. We ha- it's like you have to wait until it's the right time. The kids are in bed. Nobody's you can bothering focus. you. There's no distractions. Because you're only going to be able to do that once. You're only going to be able to put it together or put right. it up one time. And it's like. We want to be able it, to like. Would that be dopamine? Indulge in that experience. The yeah, dopamine probably. you get yeah. from that. Like setting everything up. Your new desktop. Yeah. And organizing. And if we try to do that during all the chaos, it's not the same. Like, no. okay, so I like to order like mm, mystery bags and stuff oh, um, <laughs> every now and then. Like for my birthday, I ordered this mystery bag. It was like a, I don't know, it was like really cool. I had like different charms and crystals and things that were like dark and like crow themed. Anyway, I was so excited to get it. So excited. And it comes and I just, it just sits there. I won't open it. My husband opened it for me because I'm like, I was so excited that I almost shut down. Like, it's like, I want to enjoy it, but I don't know when. I don't You're know when like the right time is. You're like, like a... the other day, I made you open my package that came that had all this yeah, stuff in it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, you can do it. <laughs> you're I like, literally please. had to open this package for her, and there were so many good things in it. I think it's because it's you're overwhelming. Like, you're like a dog that gets too excited and yes. has to pee. <laughs> yes, I do literally have to pee when I get excited. <laughs> anxious excited it's all the same for me i can get overwhelmed by negative things and feel stressed and i can get overwhelmed by happy things and feel stressed too not stressed but almost like oh i don't even want to get started because it's too much yeah, yeah just like shopping in a like five below or something and i'm like there's so many cool things See, I don't what do like, i do i don't like five below what no i'm not a five below guy. <gasps> Maybe it's just the immature child and start my herald. It's like, I want all those the things. The what? The immature child. Did not get that. I'm sorry. Okay, immature. immature child. I want all the stickers and all the keychains and all the cool books. and. Okay. So uh, do you ever panic search? <clears throat> Excuse me. Panic searching? Yes. Do you know what that is? Yes. What is it? When you can't find something really important, especially last minute, and you're like, <gasps> Where did it go? Oh, my God. And you are flipping cushions, and you are going absolutely yes. fucking insane, and the thing is, like, in your hand. Yep. Or it's sitting on the counter, or yeah. it's sitting in the place it's supposed to be, but you know you looked there, but you didn't look there. Yep. You know you did not look there. Yep. I do it with important documents. I, I am oh really God. good about those. I know mm-hmm. exactly where they are. They're always in the same place, but sometimes I think they're misplaced, and they're not. Yeah. I'll, like, flip something too fast and miss the right envelope, and then... <gasps> 
where did it go? It was there the whole time. And then you lose your shit and you check every box yeah. and every drawer and every... And waste so much time. Yes. And then, like, your husband, or my husband comes in and he's like, lifts up the book and he's like... <laughs> It's right there. He does it, too. That He doesn't panic search, but he loses things easily, and then I find them for him. So I guess we balance no, each other see, out. But. My husband, I'm usually like, I can't find my... Well, enemy. that, and that comes back to, like, the autopilot thing. I set things in places. Yes. Sometimes I do misplace. Like, I'll buy something new, and I'm so excited, I'll put it in a special place. Then I can't remember where that I special that. place I'm is. I'm glad you do that, too, because I didn't know that was a thing. I'll be like, like oh, I'm going to wrap it in, like, something soft. Like, say I get a new crystal, or I get a new candle holder or something. Oh, I love this so much, I'm going to keep it safe. I'll wrap it and put it in a special drawer and, like, try to remind myself this is where it's at. And then I can't remember where it's at. And two weeks later, I remember that I got that thing. Two weeks later... It's I'm like, searching for it? it. Where'd I put it? I know I oh, got it. Where'd I, I put it. it? Like, seriously, yeah. That and being on autopilot and sticking things in random places. Like, I put the kids' vitamins in the fridge the other day. What the hell? If you want to know, I don't know if I want to tell you my worst thing. I can't. Oh, I have it's to too funny. It. No, it's too, I it's can't. It's too funny. It's too embarrassing. Why are you depriving me? It's not funny. Me? It's de- embarrassing. I love embarrassing. Okay. I was, like, autopiloting my life, okay? And, like, I had made toast... There's another door. <laughs> I had made toast and the toaster has to cool off. You know, well, we don't, we put our toaster in a cabinet, so it has to cool off and autopilot here. I'm at autopilot. Remember that I'm on on autopilot. I opened my refrigerator. I cleaned a spot and I placed my toaster <laughs> in the refrigerator. That is so great. <laughs> and I shut the refrigerator. I looked up thinking like, this isn't right. And I open it and my husband's like, what did you just do? Thank I you. love that. He still makes fun of me for that to this day. Oh like, it's gosh. such a funny I was thing trying to cool house. the toaster off. <laughs> it was hot. It wasn't hot, though. It, was, it makes sense. It was like three hours after supper. It was cooled <laughs> off. Like That part of your brain was still telling you that it needed to cool I was off. on autopilot and I was just cleaning up after supper. <laughs> Whatever. You're oh, my God. Space or, I it. might have been breakfast. Oh, that's know. so great. <laughs> oh, um, my gosh. Um coffee <laughs> like do you just like do have, you have to some? I do do <laughs> you need it to some. survive or am I like no yeah but I mean are there mornings where you can just skip coffee and you're okay absolutely not yeah right exactly like how no, do people ma'am. how do people make up without coffee my husband hates coffee yeah mine never drink he likes no. it but he doesn't drink no, he doesn't need it in the mornings it. will not touch it does not like he it, takes a little not. while to wake up he's yeah. hard to wake up but once he's up and moving he's fine yeah. he doesn't need caffeine see mine jumps right out of bed and goes <sighs> i jump right out of bed but i my brain is he like just goes, he's good he's great he's like let's go let's go let's do the things i jump I out know. of bed quickly and i start moving but i don't know what i'm doing until the coffee kicks yeah. in i'm just like Brr, i'm like a zombie right and my oh and my mom my dad they don't drink my dad will drink coffee every now and then but never growing up they never had coffee in the mornings they don't. I don't even think they need caffeine in the morning. How? I don't know. I don't understand How? that. But caffeine doesn't really energize me. Right. It it just how. clears my mind. It clears yeah. that fog. It's like it gives you that girth to start or yeah. something. Like yep. I don't feel hyper or anything. Exactly. I'm it does keep like, me alert in a way. Like it helps me with when I feel groggy. Okay. But it doesn't like make me hyper. It does the opposite. It I think calms after this me. I need a big cup of coffee. Oh, that sounds good That's actually good. to go with our M and M and M num and num cookies. That's what my little one called him, num num cookies. Aww. So cute when it was okay. little. So I have a superpower. I have an ADHD superpower. And yeah. I think we've talked about this before. I think you and me. Yeah. I don't think we talked about it. I think it we started here. to, but we did Superpower? Yeah, we okay. started to. If there's something, okay, like say, mm, there's a piece of paper laying in the middle of my living room floor. Say I have hardwood floors. I'll see this piece of paper. I'll walk over it four or five times, whatever my daughter dropped it while she was putting stickers on it. All of a sudden, I know in my head that if I don't pick up that piece of paper, within a minute or two, someone's going to fall and hurt their thumb. Yeah. Okay, we have talked about this. Yeah. It's like premonition. Literally. And, like, I will even test it and be like, I'm not going to touch that and let's see what happens. Well, you've got some psychic abilities, too. And someone will fall. Yeah. And it's it's not only a piece of paper. It's other things like, okay, if I don't go put put that by the backpack, they'll forget it. Or if I don't. Which that's kind of obvious for kids, but if I, it's it's so many different yeah. weird things. Like, in a spiritual sense, I'd say we have we obviously have psych, some psychic abilities. I know, ooh. yeah, but we're intuitive, we're empathic, whatever. Yeah. But in an ADHD sense, I think it like lights up our brain in certain ways, where we can almost we're more perceptive and we can pick up on things that other people's what other people wouldn't. So we can play out a whole ass fucking scenario in our head. 
And it almost always happens yeah. if you don't go pick that thing up or yeah. if you don't go put that where that needs to go. And our brain so fast processes that this is going to happen and it's going to happen now. Mm-hmm. It's like our brain gets ahead of us and it actually helps us. So you just it is a superpower. It. You just logically explained it. I'm that's just my thoughts. I don't know. I but can't. it's a superpower. It is a superpower. I know it, is. it is a gift. I don't call it. That. It's scary sometimes. <laughs> it is. But yeah, I always thought it was just. A, a gift like because my mom can do it well she's done it to you before like message you like oh yeah hey that, that picture you might want to take that down because I can just see it falling yeah. and she's not like super hyperactive like me or yeah. anything she's no. busy and chatty and like likes to stay busy but mm-hmm. she's very like organized and logical and like right uh, but she has that too she'll be like oh you need to do this because this might happen and every time she's you know if you don't do that it's oh it's I did gonna it. happen the minute the minute yeah. she texts I'm like yep let's go do that right now but I do she think said. it's a gift but I think our ADHD also maybe sometimes feel like it, it kind of helps it really does sometimes, super yeah. power super <clears throat> okay um it's hard for me to relax oh my god it's hard for you to relax all the time okay and then I have this thing to where when I do finally get to relax, I sit down and it takes a while to get into the show or just kind of like breathe or something like that. And once I do, I do it. I relax it too good. Yeah. And it's like, now I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do anything yeah. for the then next Then you're just like days. shut down. Yeah. And it ta- I, I don't even know how to come it's out of it. It's hard to come out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like I am now a blob on this couch for at least three days. Like I'm not moving. Yeah. Y'all need something. Go get it. It's, it's like... I know I need to do that sometimes. I need to stop and chill out and relax, yeah. but I don't. Yeah, I know. I'm the same way. I get because that Because if sure. I do, I will literally, like, I will sit there and do nothing. If I decide tomorrow, if I decide tomorrow to wake up and, like, we're just going to hang around the house and do nothing. I'm yeah. going to lay on the couch, let's watch movies, let's hang out, just me and the kids and the husband and whatever. I will then do that for, like, three days because it takes so much for my like, brain to get back, back yeah. in that. Yeah, back in the rhythm. Yes, yep. of doing things constantly. Do you get, okay, this is totally different from that, but do you ever have moments where you're just so irritable and agitated and everything feels like, like your clothes aren't comfortable, your hair is bothering you, like you I just I want to like, be a ball of light. Yeah, I just want to mm-hmm. take my meat suit off. I don't like the meat suit thing. You say that. I don't, I don't know what sounds, else to call it. That's so gross. <laughs> Well, my skin How about you call me. it your skin? How about take my skin but off? But it's not just my skin. It's everything. I, I feel like it's just all of it. Everything. You want, I don't know how to explain you it. You want to be a ball of light. It's like when everything's like, I've got a headache or my back's bothering me or my arm, my neck's stiff or my, my scalp is irritated and I've got a bug bite on my leg and it's everything at once, like from the inside out and know, I just want to take it all off. Do you want to know a trick that helps me when I'm like that? And I'm not kidding. Go take a cold shower. That does help, actually. Uh-huh. Cold, I actually cannot take hot showers at all because it irritates take, my skin no, and it makes me dizzy. But no, if like you feel, if I feel that kind of way, like I'm like, oh, I just got it. It does it like washes gotta, it I away. Just, yeah. And I will go take a cool shower, not super. And because you're naked, and that helps being naked. Well, sometimes. I think it's a, something about the cold um, resets your. I've heard it resets something. I don't that know. That makes sense. What was it? And I'm sure it cools and calms your skin too. Yeah. What does it reset? It resets something. I heard I. Mm, I don't know. It resets like your system. I don't yeah. remember it. I know it's something and I hope somebody well, knows I have that, some but... days where I just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm like going like I can't find anything comfortable. I'll go through like five shirts and I, my hair just won't cooperate. And I'm just like oh, like yeah. so agitated. I, I get hate mad those when feelings. like I try to put my hair up in that perfect bun. Not perfect. The best ones are when you're not trying at all. And I like, try I'm cleaning, I flip and it I'll back. smooth it, and I'll yeah. do all the things, and I'm like, her. Yeah. And then I'll just walk out, stomp, and throw it up, and I'll look at it <laughs> 30 minutes later, I'll be like, you bitch. <laughs> That's how I won in the first you place. Fuck, man. Do you have to set a bubble when you go out in public? Like, like this is my bubble. <laughs> I don't go out in public. <laughs> <laughs> like, just going to Walmart. I have to put a bubble. I like, don't go to Walmart. People are just too much. I don't know. The, okay, I had to take my kids to Walmart to go to school supply shopping. Yeah. And that's it's the first sensory time I had overload in a long time, especially when you have two kids. You're like, I want this, I want this, yeah. I want this. It's like we're getting what's on that's the list, I, and yeah. what's on the list only. I took one, the one that wanted to go. I yeah. took her into the dollar store, and I did the rest as a pickup order. <laughs> My kids would never forgive me if I did not take them school shopping, like in the physical store. <sighs> yeah, I get lucky there because two of them don't really care. You're well, very lucky. We could keep on, keep on talking about all of our stuff, but 
think we're going to wrap it up for tonight. So we are. So if you need to get a hold of us, do so at only if you can keep up at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Bye.